Hey guys, Marco here and back once again from my color screen, the home where you can find great looking home screens, lock screens and anything related to customizing your Android. So without any further ado, let's bring to you today's very easy to set up lock screen video tutorial. Booyah! Great, so today's video tutorial is on a very, very simple to set up Android lock screen. As you can see, there's no trickery here or tomfoolery. It's just a very simple setup that you can get on your Android phone without any hassle whatsoever. This lock screen is titled Hexagon by the author Pedro Panagio. Pan uh, I think that's how you say his surname. But what's unique about it is that it's very simple. It's got your time, it's got your tap to unlock. It's got your weather there and it's got some unique wallpapers such as the ones that I've been flicking through now and like I said very easy to do you just need to tap the, the time and then it unlocks your phone so if you would like to set up this brilliant looking lock screen that's both simple to do and looks fantastic and easy on the eye let us begin with today's video tutorial boom Great, so because this lock screen is so simple, I'm actually going to start from scratch and show you from the beginning how you can get this awesome looking lock screen onto your phone. So I've loaded up the My Color Screen site from my phone. As you can see, it's got all these amazing looking lock screens or home screens right here. Now here's Hexagon, so I'm just going to be selecting it and it'll open up the web page. You can select whatever browser you want to open it in. Now as you can see, the page is loaded up and we want to look in the description where the author has shared the link in order for all the downloads. Now the only two apps, well three apps that you'll be needing for this setup is a good file explorer like ES File Explorer I'm going to be using now. Widget Locker of course to set up that brilliant looking lock screen and finally a free app called UCCW, you all should know about it. That's to set up that brilliant looking clock with the weather. So all you'd have to do now is just select this link and then simply copy it and then paste it in a new tab or simply the same tab. So we can just hold down on this bar here again and select paste and then select go. It's going to bring you up into the download folder. So it's loaded up Dropbox where you're just going to select download now. You can choose whatever you want to download it in. I like to always go for a Chrome download and it's going to be in a RAR format. But don't worry, that's why we need ES File Explorer as you can just in extract these the contents within this folder. So as you can see, it's been downloaded now. It's complete and you'll find it now in your downloads folder. So here we have hexagon.rar, we can just hold down on it, select more, select extract to and then put it wherever you want. I'm just going to select OK for now and it's going to do all of its extracting so that you can get all those brilliant wallpapers and the skin. If we open it up, you'll see that it's got all the wallpapers and the two UCCWs, I mean the two UZIPs that you leave alone. You don't try and unzip them or whatever, just leave them like this. As now we're going to be going into our widget locker settings. Almost forgot you're also going to be needing a blank PNG, but that's also going to be directly in the link below this one. So you're going to do exactly the same process for downloading it, except it'll be in a zip form. And while well, it's very easy to download, just get that blank PNG onto your phone ASAP. Great. So like I said, you'll be needing the widget locker app. It's very awesome. If you have, if you've just opened it up, you want to remove anything that you see on here, such as um, any widgets or clocks or anything that might appear. And you can just hold down on it and select remove and it will now disappear. So you just want a blank screen. From here you want to select the little menu settings at the top whereby you can now jump into your look and feel. Once you've selected your look and feel, you want to definitely select alternative wallpaper as now you can choose whatever wallpaper you want for this lock screen. Next you want to go into select wallpaper and just go into your quick pick or gallery or whatever gallery app that you prefer as you want to find those, these wallpapers that you've copied now onto your phone, your gallery app should pick it up. So you've got a whole host of awesome looking themes to choose from. I'm just going to go say for the blue one for now. And you can just make it bigger for if you want. It doesn't matter where, how big or small you make it as the colors, as it doesn't matter what resolution phone you have, it'll fit no matter what as it's just one color. So that's your background done now. Your tint, you're welcome to change it. To make it more or less tinted than the background, I'm just going to leave it a little bit darker for now. So save a little bit of battery and let's go down. We want to definitely select hide notification bar, that one at the top, as you don't want that getting in the way of this gorgeous looking lock screen. You now want to go into your layout. Now this is where it gets interesting. It's not very tricky as the first thing you definitely want to do is if your anchor is over here, you just want to drag that down to the bottom. 
and you also want to deselect automatically determine your grid size why do you want to do that well now you can have as many grid sizes options as you want and i always go for a 12 by 12 just because it makes things a lot easier to deal with so we're just going to select save done that is your look and feel done now a lot of people complain that if they just touch your menu up or your menu button of your phone it unlocks the phone when you have widget locker so just a quick workaround we want to go into your advanced settings you want to go into your home helper and you want to have these three selected you want to have home helper components home helper block home and block home in other apps remember those three and it might just save your life finally you want to definitely select widget overlap that's also found in your advanced settings as you're going to be overlapping a custom slider over the uccw skin but we'll get to that later so that is all of your settings done for widget locker you should go back and it should be a blank screen ready for the uccw skin let's jump into it great so for the uccw skin it's very easy to add you want to hold down on your lock screen you should come up with a few options you want to select widgets once you scroll down a bit you said should be able to see uccw you want to select it does not matter what size you choose as you're going to be resizing it anyway and yeah it doesn't really matter so definitely you want to select use up at the top and now you want to find that hexagon folder that you've copied or extracted onto your phone so once you select it now there should be those two use zips remember just leave them alone as only here you'll be selecting either the first one or the second one the inverted one is just white instead of black so we're just going to import it now and if we select the hand it's going to hopefully pop up with this badass looking skin we can hold down select resize and now just make it a lot bigger so make it how big it big you want so once you get it into more or less the middle and you like it the way it is all you have to do now is make sure that this is not clickable and it's not going to open up your editor so you're welcome to hold down on it and select block clicks so now nothing will happen when you tap it and that's quite handy for a lock screen only thing you want to do now is to add in the custom slider which will come up right now great so the last thing we want to do is to add in a custom slider and it's very easy to do especially within widget locker so we're going to hold down at the bottom we can there and you want to select custom slider now you're going to leave it as this custom slider that you have here as all you want to do now is see the lock one on the left hand side you want to swipe it to the right and now you want to under action you want to select disabled you don't want to have that same thing for the music one one on the right you want to swipe to the left disable oh whoops you want to go back you want it that disabled gone finally the middle one you do want to be able to use that one so you want to select it you want widget locker actions and you want it to be to unlock it's going to come up with this very green icon that we don't want so we want to go into our icon or here we want to go into our gallery and we want to go into our whatever preferred app you want and you definitely want to select that blank png so wherever you've copied it onto your phone you just want to select it and then select the tick and select done and now it's going to make it invisible but do not worry as long as you remembered where it is you just need to hold down on it and select resize now you're welcome to make it as big as you want i'm just going to make it over that tap to unlock area so trying it out we can just tap that area and there it is unlocked your phone you can try it out again let's just see if i lock our phone and we unlock it boom unlocks the phone straight away so yeah i really enjoyed this lock screen guys thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the my color screen channel please do if you haven't already as well as leave a like or comment as it really 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 means a lot to us so thank you very much for watching don't forget to check out our facebook google plus twitter community instagram communities Go, yeah all of them so thank you very much guys for watching marco here from my color screen and as always don't stop customizing